Gentlemen, virtual wrestling fans worldwide, we are live from the family arena here in St. Charles, Missouri, as we welcome you to episode 86 of UCWL Showdown. Hello everybody, this is the voice of the Universal Championship Wrestling League, VPOC here, and I'm joined by Hit Kid Worldwide, and Hello. Hit, and Hit, Yuri Boyka looks like he's a man on a mission. Yeah, Mike is tonight. on the fucking warpath. Yeah, yeah, he is. And, well, speaking of somebody that was on a warpath. There's Kendall. Here there, they are. Yeah, Kendall. The, uh, the head director of the uh, women's division here in UCWL who's been MIA for quite some time. And we all know why. Yeah. Well, now we do. Yeah. I have a feeling this could this could get very uh, <laughs> tense for a start here tonight. That Kendall's idea. Well, she's asking for the microphone. I guess we're gonna hear from her. So. How's everyone in St. Charles tonight? Seems like you all not just missed me, but are also ready for tonight's show. So I'll try not to take too much time. So I should probably explain where I have been for so long. So you see, at last season's Holy Shit of Mania, I was lured into the parking lot of MetLife Stadium and ambushed. And I was ambushed by Daisy Johnson. Oh yeah, she was hit. Yeah, well, yeah, and um, there's the usual reaction for uh, Daisy, the fucking bitch. And the attack was so brutal. I couldn't remember all the details at first. But over the course of weeks, maybe months, the pieces started to come back to me. And then I realized it was Daisy who attacked me when I was sitting at home watching Prestige 4. Oh yeah, that's right. That, uh, that happened during one of your matches at Prestige 4. So it's also a title match. And then I saw her align herself with Norley. And then I knew sooner or later she would come after myself and UCWL. 
So I made contact with an old ally from my past, and she brought me to the planet Phaedos in order for me to get ready for Daisy's eventual return. It was a long and exhausting journey to get to my goal, but eventually I got there, though I had no idea that a few weeks on Phaedos was actually two years here on Earth, so I may be late to the party, but I'd back. Well, that explains why, where she's been all this time. Great to have her back. And Daisy, it's time that someone stand up to you. And that someone is going to be me. Because I got some news, not just for you, but for everyone here tonight. I got authorization from Colson to have a match. One match. And only one match. Uh-huh. And that match is going to be against you at Holy Shit of Mania 2. Oh. <laughs> okay. Daisy and Kendall at Holy Shit of Mania 2. Do it. So, Daisy, I hope you're ready for me. Because I'm sure as hell ready for you, and it's time that somebody makes you pay for all the atrocities you have committed over the last two years. Oh, <laughs> uh, where is she? I hear her fucking laugh, and it bugs me all the fucking time. There is the bitch. Wait, you're serious? You're actually serious, Kendall? You really want to have a match with me at Holy Shit of Mania 2? Oh wow, I thought you were joking out there because I can't take you seriously. Because Kendall, you are nothing more than a joke. You're a joke of a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. You're a joke as a staff member of this corrupt company. And you're a joke of a human being. You see Kendall everything. Everything I have done for the last few years throughout the virtual wrestling world is all because of you. You are the one who robbed me of my UCWL Women's Championship. You are the one who took everything from me. You want to go out there and pretend to be the hero of this story, but you are no hero, Kendall. I am. I'm sorry, what? She's fucking deluded. I am the hero of this story, and the fact that you think you stand a chance against me at all is the biggest joke of them all. Because trust me, Kendall, you may have gotten one up on me at Conqueror of the Ring, but this time, Kendall, you won't see me coming. What does she mean by that? <laughs> it, it, what the? <laughs> uh, what the hell's going on? What the fuck? <laughs> oh what the hell's going on? What the fuck did I just see? Or not see? Oh, you fucking bitch! How do you like my new surprise, Kendall? New camouflage technology that I personally designed myself. You fucking bitch! Camouflage tech! So listen to me, and listen to me well, Kendall. You are no match for me. Not even with that new power of yours. But if you so desperately want to end up like poor Tommy Oliver, I'll gladly oblige you when I beat you within an inch of your life at Holy Shit Mania 2. This is oh, back! No loss! That's big one, go to! Is there really no moral walls this bitch won't go to? I. I still can't believe what we just. Oh She's my god! god. Fucking camouflage tech! She really is the fucking scum of the up! She is scum of the fucking up! They had a fucking god.
Ladies and gentlemen, Bizarro ICCW. Well, we, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. You may have gotten one up on me at Conqueror and, of the Ring, but well, this time, Kendall, you won't see me coming. Well, then this happened. Another Daisy Johnson masterclass of scumbaggery. Camouflage tech. I'll gladly oblige you when I beat you within an inch of your life at Holy shit mania 2. And we now know that Daisy and Kendall are going to go one-on-one -on -one at Holy shit mania 2 at State I Farm need, Stadium. I need Kendall to whip her ass. I need Kendall to whip her ass in the worst way. Not to mention the fact well, I, I got a... The fact that she mentioned Tommy Oliver. Yeah, look at the snow laws Daisy won't go to. Yeah, Eddie... Oh, well, we got a show to run down. Hit. We got a money in the... We got a money in the bank qualifier between... Well... 
two former rivals in Shinra and Iron Chef Morimoto, as well as Jason Solo and Christopher the Saint Samuels. We also got Rocksteady and Bebop in action tonight against the Black Dragon. But uh, we're starting things off with this women's fatal four-way match with the winner, with the winning. Oh God, like this. I'm still flabbergasted. Hey, breathe, breathe. Yeah. The representative of this, whoever wins this fatal four-way match will send their team to VW Worldwide to face Shimmer and Shine. Dear God, camouflage tech. She could pop up behind us. Oh, if she pops up behind me, I'm going to fucking give her a piece of my mind. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your opening contest for this evening, and it is a women's fatal four-way match that is set for one fall. Uh, anyways. Shimmer and Shine. Well, yeah, Shimmer and Shine advanced on the last episode of Showdown. And now we're going to find out. Introducing participant number one, representing the Furies of Fear, Scandal Savage. Now we're going to find out who they're going to face on our upcoming UCWL edition of VW Worldwide. The thing is though, we only know three of the women in this match. We don't have a clue for the fourth team. That, that, that's the twist, ain't it? We don't have a clue about the fourth team. Uh, yeah, that's right. Well, Scandal Savage, representing the Furies of Fear, her tag team partner, Knockout, came uh, really close to winning the Queens of Wrestling Soul Silver title on Horizon. I know that music. Participant number two, from River City, she is one half of the River City Girls, the Sako. Well, yeah, the Sako. You know, she definitely wants to win this matchup, especially after what happened to Conquer the Ring hit. Oh, if I had died and you could hear the crowd, you know, like... They would want another shot with the River City Girls. Yes, they would. We are ready to go here in this fall. We're, we're, we're just still trying to figure out who this fourth team is going to be, I guess. Well, we're gonna. I guess we'll just find out momentarily. Just a just a mad night, though. Already, if I like to say it. Yeah, we haven't even had our first matchup. I mean, you've got Biker on the wall path. Camouflage tech. Daisy being Daisy. Comes entry number three. Participant number three. She is one half of United by Fate. Ibuki. Ibuki representing United by Fate and. Uh oh. Uh, hit. Yeah? I have just been informed who the fourth individual in this match is. And, um, you're, you're not going to like it. Why? Um, well, you'll, you'll, 
you'll see as Ibuki enters the ring for this fatal four-way match. As we await the fourth and final entry into this matchup. Yup. Oh, fuck off! And introducing the final participant from Tokyo, Japan, Karai! Well, um, hit. I'll have you. I'll have you. I'll have you explain this. Well, Karate an associate of the fucking Quake Days Johnson, part of the fucking Trinity Trio over in WWE, alongside. I swear to God, if it's fucking Mother Russia who will be a partner, I'm going to lose it. One would assume it would be Mother Russia. Oh shit, I need, I need everyone to kick Karai's ass! So... Karai got into this matchup... Probably... Because of her association with Daisy. Well, this is going to be an interesting Fatal 4-Way. So, here we go! As... Oh! Karai going to work on Misako! Scandal Savage going to work on Ibuki! Essentially, we got... Three... Well, I don't know if Scandal Savage counts as a ninja. She, she's definitely an assassin. Oh! So yeah, we got two ninjas, an assassin, and... Well, what would you consider oh, Misako? Oh. Street fight up? <laughs> Probably. That's what she is. Oh, and Karai! Oh! So far... Action all over the place. So yeah, remember, I believe it was uh, Shimmer who won the last Fatal 4-Way on the previous episode of Showdown. As a result of that, Shimmer and Shine are going to VW Worldwide, and whoever wins this match will face them, and then from there, the winning team will face the Daughters of the Dragon for the UCWL Women's Tag Team Titles at Holy Shit of Mania 2. So pretty much it is winning you're in. Exactly. Keep on winning and you will get in. And I know for a fact, oh God! Poison Rana! And a draw kick! You, I know for a fact you don't want Karai winning this. Absolutely fucking not! Don't need to deal with that fucking nightmare of a like to say it, Feepak. You don't need to deal with it. It, it. It's... I don't need to deal with it. I mean, it's bad enough that Daisy's got camouflage tech now. But it's Daisy. Expect that from her. She is a... She's a bag of tricks, unfortunately. And... Oh! Brain Buster from Karai and a... Hurricane Rana from Ibuki! Uh, Ibuki's got a kendo stick. Yes, she does! And she All legal! Oh. I was about to say DC versus Capcom. That's never been a thing. And... Oh! As now, reverse DDT oh, from oh, Masako. Oh, Four ramp from Karai Lance. And now, what is what is Scandal doing here? Interesting submission hold there. Yeah, a, 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 a bit like a Vinter Saturn type hold. Now, 
four still to come tonight. We got the two Money in the Bank qualifiers. That's all. Oh, corkscrew splash there from Ibuki. Cover here. Only a one count. Yeah. Also, we will have a uh, bit of an update on the situation from the last episode of Showdown Hit that involved, of all people, the Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, that was a shocker. Yeah. That case, was a shocker. You know, in case you missed it, yeah, Edward Elric showed up here. Oh, as Karai hits a cradle shock. As now, M Misako rolling to the outside after that cradle shock. I mean, that was a high impact maneuver. Yes, it is. It's now. Oh, hey, wait a minute! What the fuck is this? That's mature advice! Again? Again? And they're attacking Kyoko! In the back! What the? We saw these two show up and conquer the ring! And they cost the River City girls! The tag title match. What? Are we, are we serious right now? Uh, Kyoko trying to fight Kyoko's back. Kyoko's trying to fight him off. Yeah, but it's two on one. This is I mean, I mean, she's out gunned. Yeah, she is. I believe she's also caught. It looks like she's got a caught on the left eye. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> Suplex on a concrete! And Masako! I think Arm she, yourself yeah. and go back to the... Yeah, Masako saw what happened on the Tron. She's heading back there to help her friend! This just became a triple threat. Exactly. Again. What the hell is the, the deal with Mature and Vice being here? No idea. I, mean, I know if oh, I don't know if CJ was here, he would probably be accusing John like he did at Conquer the Ring. I remember that. Now John and John was uh, John was pissed. John was not only pissed, but he was flabbergasted as to why they were even here to begin with. We still don't have an answer as to why mature advice showed up. And I don't think we'll get an answer unless they want to give it us. Well, anyways, let's get back to this match. This match has essentially just been turned into a triple threat now. As I was trying to mention before, is now Ibuki's got a chair. And, well, that backfired. Oh! Amateur takedown there. Yeah, I was trying to mention before, yeah, Edward Elric showed up. And cost Monkey I mean, D. And cost Monkey D. Luffy his money in the bank qualifier. You really can't catch your breath tonight, if I'm allowed to say it. No, we can't. And, oh! Handspring kick right off the head. Well, as, yeah, can't catch your breath as, uh, the, yeah, the road to Holy Shit of Mania 2 is proving to be a very bumpy one. Bumpy, chaotic, and extreme. Alright, uh, Karai, not scandal, breaks it up. And, well, I also hate to say this, but with Misako out of this matchup, you know, Oh, the chances of everybody winning this match just went up. It's now a Buki. That scandal savage. Gave her a double stop. And now scandal going to work on a Buki. What is this? Oh, returning the favor. 
Ah, oh, look at Karai. Going to work. Odd scandal! Oh. Trip there by Scandal Savage. And. Oh, what a. Oh, right in the corner. Right in the corner. Karai now with the Shut cover. Me. One. Abuki! Two. Abuki! I think Ibuki noticed it at the last second. I was about to swear to God I was going to shout at Ibuki after the show. If that had been it. Neckbreaker. And now, Karai sent it to the corner. Oh, I love it. Double rotation on the head scissors. All oh, right now, Karai is the only one left standing for like half a second. As everybody's back up now. Oh. Uh, all three of these women, I'm pretty sure, are, are experienced using weapons. But a giant, and oh my god, head first off the table. Especially Scandal. She, she's got like Wolverine-esque claws. That is true. And well, Cry, well, she's the daughter of the Shredder. Oh, she went for that buzzsaw kick and Scandal ducked. Measuring suplex there. Buki out on the floor again. Oh, look at this. Detonation kick from Scandal. And now here's a Buki. He's, he's trying to make sure Scandal stays down. And she's out. And. Oh. Still down. Oh, what a kick. Corkscrew kick to the back of the head of Karai. Scandal still down. Cover from a Buki. One. Two! Feel it. And she does! Nice. And Abuki wins it! And you know what this means, Hit? What about we're gonna lap? It will be united by fate, taking on Shimmer and Shine on VW Worldwide. Here is your winner, Ibuki! So Ibuki wins it, and because of that win, United by Fates heading to VW Worldwide to face Shiver and Shine. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Turn it around, should I try and be somebody else? Maybe I can go rising from the rubble and find it within myself. This whole world, oh my gosh, they laugh and they bring me down, keep me up at night. They can never understand that the power's in my hand, it's all on us. Even if we're never fast enough, I know tomorrow's coming soon enough. And whether we can do all the impossible, the world keeps on spinning and that's all we got. Even if we give it all love and love, the world will keep on hitting, that cannot be stopped. I know that it always seems impossible, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't give it all we got. Now you can't believe that, don't nothing. Take a breath, grit your teeth, you and I will rise. Now I know the power we've been given. Spread your wings and do this, you are my equal. Dry your tears, we can shout it loud. Cause I
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here on Showdown. What a hectic night this has been so far. It's been a, a non-stop hectic night so far. Yeah, almost, yeah. Well, anyways, we're going to take you back now to the end of the last episode of Showdown that saw this happen. A man in a devil mask attacking Monkey D. Luffy during his Money in the Bank qualifying match with Chef Gordon Ramsay. And Gordon took advantage of the situation and qualified. And then afterwards, well, the man in the devil mask would hit that. And then this. Unmasked to reveal himself, none other than the Full Metal Alchemist, Edward Elric. And one more for good measure. We don't know what the hell this was about at all, but... Well, we're about to go to General Manager Phil Coulson, who has an update on this entire situation. Let's take it to Coulson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am the general manager of the Universal Championship Wrestling League and former director of S.H.I.E.L.D., Phil Coulson. As you all just saw, S.C.A.W. and A.C.W. superstar Edward Elric showed up on the last episode of Showdown and deliberatively cost Monkey D. Luffy a chance to be in the money in the bank ladder match at Holy Shitamania 2. Now I have tried to reach out to Mr. Elric ever since this incident, and I was going to report that we could not get in touch with him However, a few minutes ago, he actually reached out to us and has told us the following. And I quote, I will show up on your VWU worldwide and tell all of you idiots everything. His words, not mine. So yes, on VWU worldwide, we will hear from the Full Metal Alchemist himself as to why he assaulted Monkey D. Luffy. Oh, well, there you go, Hit. I'm going to hear off Edward. This is going to be... I'm interested to see what Edward Elric has to say. And the thing is with Edward Elric, you know it's always going to be fiery. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm, I'm very curious as to what his issue with Luffy is. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is a Money in the Bank qualifying match that is set for one fall. Right now we're getting set for our first Money in the Bank qualifying match of the night that involves this man. Oh, here we go. Introducing first, representing the higher echelon, from Special Fire Cathedral 8, he is the reigning UCWL Hell's Gate Champion. I am still disgusted by what this man did to Seven on the last episode of Showdown. Yeah, speaking of scums, we have we have scum here. Seven got sent to the friggin' hospital. He did. It was bad what Shimmer did to him, real bad. But tonight he's facing an old adversary. Yeah, two men who don't like each other one bit. As here comes the Iron Chef. And his opponent from Tokyo, Japan, Iron Chef. Iron Chef Morimoto and Shinra Kuzakabe have no love loss with each other. That's an understatement. Alright, it was Shinra who took the Hell's Gate title off of Morimoto. And you know the saying, paybacks are a bitch. Except, yeah, this time they're not fighting 
for the Hell's Gate Championship. They are fighting for a spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Which could be an even bigger opportunity. I mean, let's be real. Decent point there. So, and so far, half the field for the Money in the Bank ladder match has been filled. And we're going to go over those four individuals in just a moment. And the bell is rung, and here we go. As, yeah, one of these two men is going to join Light Yagami, Chef Gordon Ramsay, Skeletor, and Kyo Kuzanagi. And also, I want to point out uh, something. I believe uh, AJ Monahan is in the ring. Where's Brett? Is something going on with Brett? Uh, I, not a hundred percent sure. But uh, we'll arm drag there by Morimoto. Cover. I assume we'll find out. As now. Snap suplex there by Shinra. I mean, we have Brett out here for his open, I guess. Guess something called, and that's what Monahan is out here tonight? Um, I am assuming that is what happened. And all oh, standing shooting star press. Beautiful here. from Shinra. One, two, and no. And. Oh! Frimbot, nobody up. There's a kick, and uh, my boat and I got to send to the follow ride. And oh, and an arm drag. And arm drag take over there. And hold on, I'm, I'm getting word from the back. Oh, okay. He, uh, Brad appears to have tweaked his knee. Ooh, nasty. He, he thinks he might have tweaked his knee when he went down for the cover in, uh, in uh, in the previous matchup. Better be safe, thank God we have Monahan on standby. Hopefully uh, it's nothing too serious and that maybe he just moved wrong. But any case, cover here. One, two, and no. Two, no. Fia, I just need to take a quick do do away call. All right. As now, Shinra, uh-oh, Sashimi Slice from Morimoto. And now, what is Morimoto going to do here? Top rope, oh, drives the knee. Oh, wait, no, victory rope counter. One and no. Another standing shooting star press from Shinra. Of course, this isn't the only time we're going to see a member of higher echelon in action tonight. As, oh, running drop kick from Shinra. One and only a one count. Yeah, later tonight we're going to see the Paragon champion, Jason Solo. And we're going to talk about what he did recently and he's gonna go one-on-one -on -one with Christopher the Saint Samuels I believe that'll be our main event tonight as Shinra now going to work on Morimoto And, oh! Frank 
Frankensteiner there from Shinra. Oh, a running forearm. Oh, wait. Oh, the springboard devil's footprint. Two. And, oh, no. Okay. Oh. And Shinra can't believe it. We have seen him use that springboard devil's footprint to great extent. Oh, and now, what is this? Inverted suplex. And now Shinra going to work on Morimoto on the outside. And they want to get back in the ring. Oh, staff suplex onto the onto the floor. Now Shinra, wait a minute, Daibo? What the hell is Daibo doing here? Daibo staring down Shinra. Sorry, old man. Wait, what the? Ah, oh, wait a minute. just happened wait a minute he oh wait a minute I think I know what happened I think I know I think I just figured out what happened ladies and gentlemen the winner of this match as a result of a disqualification and advancing to the money in the bank ladder match at Holy Cinemania 2 Iron Jets Oh, uh, well, clever bird. Daimo just attacked Morimoto. He got Shinra intentionally disqualified. Daimo got Shinra intentionally disqualified. Oh, and Shinra's pissed. Oh, no. Daimo, run for your life.
club, slab boy, that's what's up After Bucks, crush crews after us No games, we ain't laughing much Nothing but big things Check the hit list, how we twist shit What changed with the name? We still here, you're rocking with the best Don't worry if I write rhymes, I write checks Who's the boss? Dudes is lost Don't think cause I'm iced out, I'ma cool off Who else but me? And if you don't feel me, that means you can't touch me It's ugly, trust me Get it right dawg, we ain't never left We just move in silence and rep to the death It's official, I survived what I've been through Y'all got drama, the saga continues We ain't going nowhere We ain't going nowhere We can't be stopped now it's bad boy for life We ain't going nowhere We ain't going nowhere We can't be stopped now Cause it's bad boy for life Finally, you know. No! Why are we doing nothing? Oh, did oh, he touch you, Kelly? Oh, what is that? Yeah, he said he got him. I think. Oh! Got him! Yeah! Coulson, we need to talk, now. That walking shit stain on the arse of humanity? Isaac Frost wants a match with me, and I say fucking give it to him, Coulson. Gordon, listen to me. You know this is exactly what Gnarly wants, right? He wants to lure you into a match with Isaac so he can try and get into the money in the bank ladder match. I'm not a fucking idiot, Coulson. I know that's what Gnarly wants. And quite frankly, I don't give a rat's ass about it. That idiot sandwich has made this personal. He mentioned my kids, especially my daughter, my fucking daughter, Coulson. No one threatens my kids and gets away with it unscathed. So make the fucking match for Worldwide, Coulson, because this time, Isaac isn't going to be walking out of there on his own fucking accord. I'm going to shove my fist down his fucking throat and pull out his still beating heart, cook it in some olive oil, and then shove it back down his fucking throat. All right, fine, Gordon. If this is what you want, I know better then to try and stop you when you get like this. So I'll make the match between you and Isaac Frost for VWU Worldwide. And just remember, Gordon, your spot in the money in the bank ladder match is on the line as well. Of course I fucking know that, Colson. Now, if you excuse me, I got a fucking restaurant to go run. Did you forget something, Gordon? All right there, Phil, we gotta talk. Mr. O'Gallagher, what is it that you want? What is it that I want? What I want is justice, Phil. You saw what happened at Conqueror of the Ring, right? Yes, you lost to Levi Ackerman, I was there. No, Coulson, I'm talking about that video that played. Someone is pretending to be that person and deliberately cost me my match. I demand justice, Phil. I want another shot at the Cyberspace Championship, and I want it at Holy Shit of Mania 2. First of all, Mr. O'Gallagher, I do seem to recall you tried to cheat your way into regaining the Cyberspace Championship at Conqueror of the Ring, 
and as far as that video is concerned, we are indeed looking into it. What do you mean you're looking into it? Clearly someone has it out for me, but it can't be him, because I retired his ass back when this season started. I exposed him for the fraud that he was, and he tucked his tail between his legs and went home, and hasn't been seen since. So it has to be somebody else who made that video. Now, are you going to give me my rematch or not? Sadly, no, Mr. O'Gallagher, because Terry Bogard earned his right to face Levi for the Cyberspace Championship at Holy Shit Mania 2 on VWU Horizon. However, there it's still a chance for you to be involved at Holy Shit Mania. And pre Telton, what does the first step to a better UCWL have to do to get there? Well, Mr. O'Gallagher, you will be competing in one of the last Money in the Bank qualifiers on VWU Worldwide. As a matter of fact, your opponent is someone who is very familiar with you. Because on VWU Worldwide U, Mr. O'Gallagher will be facing off against Jack in the final qualifying match. Wait, I'm going to face the fucking Kokiri again? Ha! Easy pickings. I already beat him once, and then I'll beat him again and get into the money in the bank ladder match. And then if you don't get to the bottom of this whole video BS, then the first step to a better UCWL will... Well, that was, uh... That was a lot of chaos. I'm back, by the way. Sorry about the phone call, but a lot oh, of stuff yeah. going on in my own bed as well. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you, you missed a whole lot. I sure hope Daibo is out of the building after what just happened. Otherwise, he might die. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is a tag team match. And it's set for what for? set for tag team action here hit as here comes Kano and Tremor of the Black Dragon yeah we are ready for a big fight field right here right now and they got a huge they got a tall task ahead of them oh no that this is gonna be a hard and physical bout Especially against their opponents who are, uh, well, not exactly in a good mood. <laughs> that is an understatement. As well, here comes. Well, they got many names, but there they are. And they are, they are ready for combat, to say the least. And their opponents, team number two, from New York City, the team of Rocksteady, and Beefball. The former UCWL Tag Team Champions, Rocksteady and Bebop. Some fans call them the Mutant Movement, some fans call them the Turtle Smashers. I think tonight we can just simply call them one thing, and that's pissed off. Oh, no doubt. I mean, they may not look it right now. But, Rocksteady and Bebop. I believe this is their... This is their first match back since they returned at Conqueror of the Ring. And we are up and we are fighting. That's going to be Rocksteady and Kato starting things off here. Of course, 
Let's not take anything away from the Black Dragon. This would be a huge opportunity for Kato and Trevor if they were to knock off the former tag champs. As now the tag to Trevor. He just throws Stone Rocksteady. I think he grabbed him by the horn. He very well may have. And we just saw a rhinoceros kip up. Yes, she did. And now, suplex attempt here on the Trevor, and nope. Oh, jumping deck breaker from Trevor. Of course, Rocksteady and Bebop made their intentions clear and conquer the ring. They got some unfinished business with vigilance. As now, what the? Did we just see an Earth Elemental do a springboard. Yep, and right there you just saw the uh, Rocksteady take Tremor down by the neck. What is this night pin hit? Chaotic. Yeah, we're seeing rhinoceroses kip up. We're seeing Earth Elementals do springboards. Daisy's got camouflage tech. This has been a night of anarchy here on Showdown. I mean, I do, yeah, again, the road to Holy Shit of Mania 2 is going to be a bumpy ride, but I did not expect it to be this bumpy. Mm hmm. As now, oh, knee to the face there. Cover here by Trevor. And nope. As now, Rocksteady rolled to the outside. What is Trevor doing? Oh, wait! Holy <laughs> shit! Okay! No, I wasn't expecting that out of Trevor. Look, what the, who the hell does he think he is? Dijak? Trevor with a fucking... It's almost as if he's got Dijak's moves. Wink, wink. <laughs> just sent on over the ropes, but right now you can see Rocksteady try to recover and does. As now, Rocksteady, oh, just yeeting Kato into the ring. I think Jey Uso would have liked that. Yeet. Somebody needs to and, anyone, and, and, and anyone who says no, you ah, get lynched. Yeah. What the hell was that? I don't know. Just when you think you see it all, then you see a rhinoceros do a, her, a Frankensteiner. I mean, what's next? The rhinoceros going over the top rope with a crossbody? Actually, don't, don't quote me on that. It could happen. <laughs> We've seen him do moonsaults in the past, Hit. Trey. Trey, Bell. Don't put nope. it... Don't put it past... Rocksteady, and don't put it past Bebop either. We, we've seen Bebop do somersault plotches to the floor. He, he kind of gives the, the old expression when pigs fly a new meaning. And he does Kano now coming in and hitting the right hands. The Lufest press, and now look at Kano, he had nothing. You're never going to see prettiness from the Black Dragons. All you're going to see. It's the type of work he's going to be, you know, down to earth, ground and pound, grind you out style. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Spine Buster. Meanwhile, with the, with, with the Turtle Smashes, the Mutant Mutant, whichever you want to call Rocksteady and Bebop, you can expect that high impact explosive offense. I mean, there's the, there's the clash of styles pretty much between these two. And, oh! Overhead, belly to belly there by Bebop. And a clubbing blow there. And also, yeah, tag is made to Trevor. And Trevor's no small man either. Oh no, Trevor is a big man. Trevor is, yeah. 
And now we can move for his size. That 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 that's what people need to think. Remember with Tremor. And he can't oh. move for his size. Backdrop suplex out of the ring apron, sending Bebop back into the ring. Oh! And Bebop hits him with a clothesline. Simple but effective, tag to rock steady. And oh! Who gets? He jumped in the ring! One, two, and no! Just the dose. And now, Trevor, go, oh, here we oh, go. Oh, look right back, oh. it's out of the apron. Only to be met by a shoulder block from Rocksteady. Yeah, this was breaking down a bit, y'all. No. Teddy! That's the, yeah, the, Rocksteady sending. Trevor back into the ring. Uh-oh. Trevor, though. Got a throw. Oh, press slam. Into the power slam. One, and no. Bebop breaks that up. And now, what is... Oh, is Trevor... Trevor. He's going to try Trevor again. Won. Nope. No, no, he's not. Well, play shot from Rocksteady. Double under arm into the belly to belly. Uh, shades of uh, Vampire Warrior Gang Growl. And there's another one this time to Kano. And it's fine. Oh lesson. my god! Rocksteady leaving nothing in his wake. Drummer may have done the smart move though because he was stunned after you know that spinal stuff. Yeah, I was about to, to the floor yeah, made was, one of the smartest moves Trevor made. I was about to say, I sure hope Vigilance is watching this matchup. Oh, I think they are. You, 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 you know now he's going to have his lap dogs watching this. Oh, what did the Devitrescu sisters get their table ripped up? Well, whatever Rock said he had planned, I don't don't think it's... I think he might have changed his mind. Yeah, like, come on. Well, let's not get crazy with this if we're allowed to say it. But then again, it can get crazy with this lot, V. Yep, and now... What is... Wrong? Oh! Damn! Sidewalk slam there by Rocksteady on to Trevor. Oh, he's gonna lift him up. And then you go. Yep, Jey Uso would have liked that one too. Somebody needs to explain to me where, when he, when did he come up with that? But uh, oh, clothesline. Yeah, when did Jey Uso come up with that, and why does Jimmy hate it so much? <laughs> you got me caught in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, you know, a, a talking thing, if I'm allowed to say it. I don't know why to answer it. <laughs> well, Kano, oh, and a, that was a cannonball. Yes, shades of his move from uh, Mortal Kombat, and now the was looking for a finish. Tiger, Tiger Driver. Driver. Seen him do that in the past. Cover here. One. One. And no. Rock no. Rocksteady in. Rocksteady charged in like a like a normal Rhino to break that up. And now. Oh. Big kick to the face there. And Bebop's right back up. And right back down. Oh! Just a physical match to say the least. You know, between these two teams. As expected, though, if we're allowed to be for. Yeah. 
And now the tag to Rocksteady. Oh, and a shoulder block. And now the tag back to Bebop. Off the ropes. Oh, wait. Bebop drop. And Trevor quickly. <laughs> yeah, he knew that might have been over right there. That was smart. And now Rocksteady wrenching on the neck of Kato. Oh. And now, oh. Big shot to the chest. And, oh. Pop right back up. And it goes back down. See some fighting spirit. Oh, we'll like to be clear. Yes, we are. This whole night's just been... One thing after another. Exactly. I still can't get over the fact that Daisy has camouflage tech now. Fucking gnarly in the shield supplies she's stolen. I mean, she might have more. That's what's worrying. And, and now... Oh, hip toss there by Kato. Uh-oh. Trevor now. Oh, the strength of Trevor! I just drove him. What? Oh, no. Up through the mat. Like, he had it lifted up, and then he just put through all of his weight, you know, into driving Bebop down. And now... What is Trevor doing now? Oh! <laughs> oh! He did the gut there. And... Oh. Uh-oh. I think I know where this is going. Uh oh here we go. This little piggy went home. Cover. One, two, and the Akato breaks that up. Oh, here, Trevor! Small package! It Sorry, what's in? And I, I think Kato inadvertently just prevented that from ha from that pinfall from actually happening. May save the match if we if we can be clear. Uh oh. Bebop drop. Oh, game over. Not yet. Trevor straight in. And oh. That's a warthog headbutt right there. Kano looks like he's cut more. It's <laughs> like. I. Have to be firm to uh, yeah. Standing mood salts now. And another. Oh, Could that do it? Nope. And now, Rocksteady. No, oh, forearm there from Trevor. Oh! Knee to the face there. As, oh, now Rocksteady. Uh-oh. Not good for Kato! One grief, another huge toss. Oh, uh, down goes Trevor. What you get is like that's what you get for knee me in the face. And now uh, rock rock steady's like oh the black sandal. Bit of a mis miscommunication there, but 
Yeah, so, so, but sometimes the miscommunication just means you get it back on track, you focus in. Kano just got his ribs caved in. Alright, now. Tell you what, we're going to give Kano a drama this. They have been surviving in this. Kano's not done a couple of times, but he's kept on, you know, grinding and surviving in this. Yeah, and Trevor's pulling off things I didn't think he could pull off. Yeah, and right now Trevor is up. And, and he's down on the turnbuckle. Got stake eyes. Tag is made to rock steady. So, oh! Oh my god, why wow, he went for the standing moonsault? Again. Probably shot to the back from Trevor. And there's a straight right hand. And now the tag back to Kano. I don't know if I want to tag Kano back in. He's been the one who suffered the most damage in this match for the Black Dragons team. Uh, yep, I think I think Trevor's regretting the tag. Case in point, that press slam. No fucking way is this Rhino going to fly. Uh, yep. My God, even if he, if he did that. Even though it didn't land, I am done. Even though he missed. Yeah, even though he missed, it's like I told you. These guys give the beat the, the terminology when pigs fly a new meaning. Well, at least bebop. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Kato uh, doesn't know where he is, and uh, Trevor just got taken out on the floor. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, Kano getting sandwiched, pillar the pulse, squished and then hit. Off the ropes. Oh, managed to stop himself. Into the corner. Down. Oh, we've seen this before. It's that springboard elbow. And a power slam. Slam! With authority, Rod Simmons S. Oh, and down goes, goes Trevor. Trevor down again. Rod Simmons S with the power slam. He doesn't know where he's at, Pete. Yep. And against these two, that's a dangerous place to be. Uh-oh. Oh, what the hell are they setting up for? Three points start! Don't! Oh. <laughs> and the cover here. They just went right One, through Kato with two. that three point start. Oh, it's I over. They went right through it. They did. Trevor was half a second left too late. And Rocksteady and Bebop pick up the win here on Showdown 86. As we take a look at the action throughout this matchup. Here are your winners, the team of Rocksteady and Bebop. Rocksteady and Bebop back on track, it seems. And they want a piece of Vigilance. Yeah. I mean, Vigilance are wanted men, to say the least. And, uh-oh. We're, we're, it's a good thing Zahai is not here. We're about to hear from them. Oh, God. This could be chaotic. We, we, we finally did it. We're gonna get our shot at the tag team titles against Roman Reigns and Mel Gibson. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah! Mel Gibson, Roman Reigns, acknowledge these! <laughs> after, after we get done beating you, whack the totos that you are. Totos! We're gonna celebrate the only way to be by Rocksteady can. And that's, uh, 
Some way, yeah, it's gonna be cool. Gonna be cool! There's gonna be dancing! We're gonna dance all over the Techno Drone! <laughs> and... Well... Oh, boy. Oh, uh, yeah. We have a fight! Rocksteady and Bebop's not the only team that has issues with vigilance. Let's have a fight. Cause here comes Ragnarok. We are gonna have a fight. Well now, Ragnar and William have bikes. Greetings, talking beasts. Myself and William couldn't help but overhear that you two want another shot at the cowards known as Vigilance. Well, I believe the term is... is... What was that saying you told me before, William? That modern day term is that there is a line, and that line starts with us, so get in back of it. Because we too have unfinished business with Vigilance as well. So as much as we appreciate you help back at Conqueror of the Ring, Talking Beasts, Vigilance took the cowards way out in our match. So if anyone is to fight them again, it is myself and William Wallace. Whoa, 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 whoa. Beast? That's racist. Where is the NAACP when you need them? Where is Jesse Jackson? Where is the Underground Railroad? We're gonna run you over for how racist that sounds. We're gonna take you to courts. Where's our, where's, where's our mutant reparations? Where's the X-Men when you need them? William, what is this word they speak of? What is a racist? I have heard this word before, Ragnar. I believe they think you don't like them because, well, they're talking animals. Um... Hey, how do you explain what we're seeing? That... That is the most obscured thing I have ever heard. But I can see within the tone of your voice that the two of you are not backing down. Well, neither are us. So if we have to go through you to get to the cowards once again, we will gladly give you the fight you are seeking. Uh-oh. I think you're right, Hit. We might have a fight on our hands. Excuse yeah, me, oh, wait, wait, excuse oh, me oh, gentlemen, oh, oh. up here, up here, please. Colson! Now I see what is going on here, and where this is heading. Now I've heard what the four of you have said, and I agree. You both deserve another shot at vigilance. So here's what we are going to do. Rocksteady Bebop, you two will face Ragnar and William Wallace. But it's not going to be right now. The four of you will face off in tag team action on our upcoming VWU Worldwide episode, and whichever team wins that match, We'll go on to face Vigilance for the UCWL Tag Team Championships live from State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona at Holy Shit Mania 2. Well, wow. There you go, Head. Can't ask so much more than that. We are going to get that fight you, you wanted. And it's going to be a fight. Oh, definitely. This is, this is definitely going to be a fight. And I hope the VW Studios is big enough to contain it.
pick the one to fight with. Get it on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Pick and choose the right one. Get it on. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah. Select the one to fight with. Get it on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Yes, sir. Pick and choose the right one. Get it on. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's time for you to get into the character. You hit a loser, hit a win, I'm only asking you. Either you beat him or you beat him like an amateur. Either you drive or you get driven like a passenger. The fight's around the corner, so pick the one you want to. Represent your way, go head to head with your opponent. Fill it in the air, attention is electric. The glory's in the name, this is something epic. Least for one of you, so what you gonna do? When your enemy is standing right in front of you. How you gonna lose, or are you gonna prove? To everyone that never thought you win, that you could rule. Cause everything is in your hands, you control it oh, And everything that is the past, it is over oh, This is now, this is everything that is yeah. So you better, so you better make the right pick Select the one to fight with Get it on 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 Pick and choose the right one Get it on 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Select the one to fight with Get it on 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 Pick and choose the right one Get it on 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Select the one to fight with Get it on 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 Pick and choose the right one Get it on 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Select the one to fight with. Get it on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Pick and choose the right one. Get it on. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here on Showdown. And yeah, Rocksteady and Bebop are going to face Ragnarok on VW Worldwide. With the winners to face Vigilance for the tag titles at Holy Shit of Mania 2. But right now, we want to switch our focus to something else that happened. This was the end of Overdrive 31. Yeah, this, this was crazy. Jason Solo, the Paragon Champion, showing up and assaulting Adonis Creed. One can only believe this had to do with the fact that Jason got eliminated by Adonis at Con in the Conquer of the Ring match. And we're going to hear from Jason right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest at this time the inaugural and current UCWL Paragon Champion, and Higher Echelon's own, Jason Solo. Jason, you showed up on the last episode of Overdrive and proceeded to brutally assault Hollywood Adonis Creed for what many people are calling a very petty reason. I think the question on everyone's mind is, why? I guess what they say about women with blonde hair on this planet is true. They're dumb. You want to know why I decided to go over to the sea show and beat the hell out of that cruiser, X-Division, punk, Adonis, whatever his name is. I went over there and put him in his place after he humiliated me in front of the entire world. So, I want you to listen to me, and listen to me carefully. No one humiliates me. But unlike my colleague, that pyro freak, I don't lose control. I've been trained since I was a child to control my emotions and not to let them overtake me so I don't lose myself in the moment like he does. I'm also gonna do something in just a few moments that he failed to do tonight and that's qualify into the money in the bank ladder match at Holy Shit Amadia 2. So, Christopher Samuels, say your prayers tonight for both of us, for the blood we shed will drench the ring. 
But know this, I will stand on top. Well. Seems like Jason's got off the deep end. Not as much as Shinra has. Yeah. And the fact they keep on taking pop shots at one another. Like, I like it. Any, any inner conflict within, you know, Natalie's group is a good thing, but, like... Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is your main event of the evening. And it is a Money in the Bank qualifying match that is set for one fall. Uh, yeah, earlier tonight, Iron Chef Morimoto qualified with a rather unique assistance from Daibo. Yeah. We'll wait to see. St. Samuels, he is no stranger to the Money in the Bank ladder match. That's a big time opportunity right here. He was a part of the Money in the Bank ladder match last season. And now he's got a big opportunity to get back there, but boy does he have a uh, huge task ahead of him. As here comes the Paragon Champion. There he is. And his opponent, representing the higher echelon from the planet Coruscant, he is the reigning UCWL Paragon Champion, Jason Solo. Uh, yeah, Jason Solo. Well, as yeah, as we mentioned before, yeah, he showed up on Overdrive. And tried to done his screen with a steel jaw. Yes, he did. We're still trying to figure out why. I mean, you heard what he said. He wanted to put. Adonis in his in his quote unquote place. Yeah, well you don't do that by almost crippling the guy with a steel chervy. And still anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event. Of UCWL Showdown episode 86, a Money in the Bank qualifying match, non title by the way, as Jason Solo, the Paragon Champion, takes on Christopher the Saint Samuels. And a swing neck breaker there by the Saint. As now. Oh, working on the leg of Jason Solo. Still, this has been one heck of a night. Pretty chaotic night, though. You've seen the abdominal stretch. Yes, it has been a chaotic night. At the oh, okay, that nice. was nice. Nicely done. That was a nice counter from Jason. That was a very nice counter. The yeah. the end. This is the from the. Yeah, let's let's not take anything away from Jason Solo as a competitor. I'll have a victory roll here. 
It's just, well, the company he keeps. Yeah, it's fucking that higher at you. Cover here and no. Only a one count. All right, now Jason with the victory roll. As now into the corner goes Jason. Oh, back elbow. And now the Saint. All right, no. Kick to the midsection there. Oh, and a running drop kick. Samuel's now. Nope. As right now. Well, following this matchup, we're going to have one more commercial break, where then we're going to come back and run down the card for Holy Shit and Mania 2 at the moment, and then that'll be it for tonight, gentlemen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, cover here. I mean, not covered. Slam there. That was a shoot slam elbow. That's yes. it. Elbow. God, am I... I might need a Snickers. Uh, I, I, think we all, I think we all made it off this night, Faye. Yeah. I'm going to need a Snickers and, and maybe a drink. I mean, it has been that chaotic of a night. You would think you need something to get over it. As right now, Jason rolled to the outside. Oh, here comes the seat! Oh! And that hurts. That does. Especially, especially when you crash and burn like that. And now into the ring goes the Saint. Oh, that swinging neck breaker. Twisting his neck like a socket wrench. Kudos to anybody who gets that reference. Oh, drop kick there from the Saint. Oh, I got wrench attempt. No! No, rolled all the way through. Oh, oh no, close up the arm. And swinging neck breaker again. But Golfix on the Saint stayed on top. Oh, is the Saint thinking? Is he thinking Faith Breaker? He is! Yes, and he's got it! Faith Breaker! One! One! Two! two and no! Two. Jason Burley able to kick out. Well, he's not the Paragon Champion for nothing. Even if we don't like it, it's now... Oh, figure four? Yep, figure four. As now, Jason Solo working on the lower back, and now top rope drops the elbow. Oh, a clothesline missed. I have no idea what that was. As now, I do know what that is. That's a spy buster. And that's on the floor, and that hurts. Yes, because the padding's only, uh, that is only, so, is only so much thick. And oh, elbow to the back, elbow to the front of the head. The Saint now. He's got Jason. What's what's got planned here? Oh, I see going. Connor, he up. He's gonna go some Lucha Libre style offense. Yes, he is. Yeah. Lucha style arm drag. And out is the Saint. 
Oh, splash misses. And Jason's going to take advantage of it. Oh, here we go. Flying solo. Not game. One, two. No, it is not game. You would usually think that is game, you would think. That flying solo has put down many of the best. Yes, it has. It's the move that he... Oh! The move that he won the Young Lions Cup with. And now Jason on the top rope. And this time he connects with the splash of his own. One, two, and no! And again, Jason cannot believe that the Saint kicked out of that. On. Fist drop there, followed by an elbow. Wasn't the million credits fist drop? Oh, spin kick there. Cover here. And oh. on. Good ring awareness there by Jason Solo. Grabbing the bottom rope. I mean, it's such an easier kick out, if we're allowed to say it. Now off the ropes. Nope. And now, Solo's got... Oh! Snake Eyes in the corner. All right, come on, hey, Monahan, get in there. That's a choke. That is a choke. No reason to hold back on that. That's a choke up there from Jason. And now, oh, knee to the midsection. And now, oh, what is... Got him on the apron here. Oh. oh no, we saw this earlier on tonight. Oh! Yes, God. we did. When you get back suplexed onto an apron, there is no give. It is all impact and it can shatter your spine. And now just the elbows raining in. Yeah, now again with the choke. Come here! Well, Saint fighting back. It's what he has to do, but we, we have to say it. We are seeing some very dirty tactics. Well, yeah, we are. As now, referee's up to seven. Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah, Jason's back in. Oh, and right back out he goes. Back out. And now the Saint on the top rope. Oh! Big missile drop kick. Nicely done there. And now... Jason eats apron. Yes, he does. And now working on the arm. Oh, and now into the ring goes the Paragon Champion. Is Saint, for the sake to finish. Is he thinking Faith Breaker again? He hits it for a second time. It will surely put him. Oh, oh he went for it. Completely overshot it. This could do it. Nope. I thought for sure the Saint knocked the wind out of himself, but he's still in this. And now, turns him around. Uh, blocked there from Jason. 
Tell you what, what a physical match this has been. Yes, it has, and now the dreaded spinning toe hold. Um, which Funk brother did that? Very, both actually. It was a, it was a family made hold. Rest in peace, Terry Funk. Any case, oh, elbow to the chest. And an elbow again to the chest. And now Jason on the top. Drops the elbow. Perfect elbow right to the spine. Oh, is he thinking flying solo? Yes, he is. Second one oh, of the match. Oh, no. Saint oh, countered it. And, oh. I don't know what the hell Saint was going for. But he ran right into a super kick. And now the million credits fist drop. Oh, this might be it. Flying solo. Gets it. Jason Solo, I think, is about to advance to the money in the bank. Ladder match, no! No, he's not. The Saint able to kick out. And now, Jason's getting annoyed. Yeah, you can see frustration building on Solo right now. And oh! Thank you! So much for keeping your emotions in check. That'll be a fucking hefty fine. And now, oh no, he's got a chair. Oh! Wait a minute! Hey! That's Adonis! Hey, that's a <laughs> Adonis Creed! What? Adonis! Coming in from the crowd! And... Monahan's back up! Alright. Faith breaker to the, by the Saint! The cover! Two! And Christmas! Dominic. Christopher Samuels just picked up probably one of the biggest wins that he's had in a long time. I think he just picked the power and good jump. Not only did he just pin the Paragon Champion, but he's now going to Money in the Bank. Here is your winner and advancing to the Money in the Bank ladder match at Holy Shit of Mania 2, Christopher the Saint Samuels. Christopher Samuels is going back to the Money in the Bank ladder match, but he definitely had some assistance with it. And there you see oh, it. Right. And there you see Adonis on the stage. Adonis just paid Jason back. And if yeah. you want your paybacks, you got him in full here tonight on showdown. Yes, he did, and, and ladies and gentlemen, don't, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this.
And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. And if you're just joining us... Well, this was the... Money in the Bank qualifying match between Jason Solo and Christopher the Saint Samuels. Jason clearly getting frustrated that he couldn't put the Saint away. And went for some underhanded tactics, but that's when... Hollywood Adonis Creed showed up. And we'll pay him back. And it led to the Saint capitalizing. And now Christopher the Saint Samuels is heading to Money in the Bank. And Jason Solo was clearly not happy that Adonis Creed cost him that match. But as we say here on Earth, that was a receipt. Yep, a full scale one. And anyways, ladies and gentlemen, momentarily we're going to be running down the card for Holy Shit of Mania 2. But before that, I understand we're going to be hearing from Riku in just a moment. Just what time you tonight? Yes, she did. And uh, we're going to take it to the back right now to hear from Riku. Hey there, everyone. So I just want to let everyone know that on the next episode of Showdown, the contract signing for the UCWL Women's Championship match at Holy Shit Mania 2 is going to be taking place between Quiet and Captain Marvel. And well, as I'm sure everyone has noticed, Quiet doesn't talk very much. Or, well, she's kind of in a bit of a predicament where she can't talk, except for one language, the Navajo language. So well, I've been taking some lessons in Navajo so I can communicate with Quiet. So next episode of Showdown, I will be there at the contract signing between Quiet and Captain Marvel. So Quiet can say a few things that she wants to say to not just Marvel, but to the entire world. So I'll see you all on Showdown 87. Oh, that's awfully nice of Riku. Should be uh, an interesting contract signing as well. Yes, it should be. As well. Well, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to run down the card for Holy Shit of Mania 2. It's the theme for night one for the glory by All Good Things featuring Hollywood Undead. Available on Apple Music, Spotify, and wherever music is sold. And what a card this is turning out to be. We got the Cruiser X Division title match. Baki the Grappler Hanma defending against Nova. It's going to be the undefeated champion versus one of the Cruiser X Division's pioneers. Yeah, can Nova finally do it, or will Baki's, you know, dominant reign continue? We're gonna find out at State Farm, and then this match was made official on Horizon. Levi Ackerman defends the UCWL Cyberspace Championship against new number one contender, Terry Bogard. We'd we'll like to say it shows me off. Humanity's strongest soldier versus the legendary Hungry Wolf. It definitely could be a show stealer for night one. And then of course our main event for night one as we just heard Riku talk about it will be Captain Marvel defending the UCWL Women's Championship against the winner of the Women's Conqueror of the Ring match in quiet. I mean it's all about that UCWL Women's World Championship. Is it Quiet's time or will the Marvelosity ring continue with Captain Marvel? Yes. Where'd it go on? Now, yep, and now you're listening to Legends Are Made by Sam Taniez, the official Night 2 theme of Holy Shit of Mania 2. That's also available on Apple Music, Spotify, and wherever music is sold. Great song, by the way. 
And yeah, this match was confirmed earlier tonight. It's going to take place on night two. Daisy the Quake Johnson and Kendall Morgan. Say that this ain't a crazy match will be an understatement. It is a match a season in the making. It, it, it is very personal for a grudge match. Yes, it is. It's going to be Kendall's one and only match. She's got one shot. I hope she makes it count. And then we got this, the main event of night two. The UCWL Championship match. Nathan Explosion defense against Yuri Boyka. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler. Boyka won't come for the ring. This has been an ongoing feud within UCWL for, oh God, not just this season, but last season as well. Yeah. Is it Boyka's time to shine? Let's hope so. But that's not what we also got upcoming VW Worldwide Money in the Bank qualifying match. Yaiba Kamikaze takes on Keith Abakari. And that, that, that's going to be a battle of two different with them favorites. And Gregory O'Gallagher takes on Jack in a ring. Yeah, I need Jack to beat his ass. And we got Gordon Ramsay will take on Isaac Frost with Gordon's Money in the Bank spot on the line. As well as Rocksteady and Bebop going to take on Ragnarok. The winning team will face Vigilance for the tag titles. And holy shit, Immediate 2. And speaking of which, we also got Shiver and Shine. And United by Fate, the winner of that match, is going to face for the women's tag titles. And holy shit, Immediate 2. A loaded horizon. Worldwide. Sorry, worldwide. Yes. You're going to need, now you need the stickers. Yeah, no, I need to see. It's been a, listen, I've had a long week with doing the way stuff and all that, but yeah. Absolutely. Well, uh, I, I believe that is it for our show here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And, oh, hold uh, on. Oh, we're not done. We're not done. Uh-oh. That's the World Champs music. Yes, it is. And Yuri Biker is looking for it. Well, there he is. The UCWL champion. And I wonder if this is Nathan making the play of I'm not a hard man to find. Well, he's asking for the microphone. Oh, this could get ugly fast. This, this could get ugly fast. Hey, uh, Yuri, I hear you've been, uh, looking for me all night. Well, guess uh, what? I'm right fucking, uh, here. So if you want to, uh, end up just like that little ass kisser that, uh, follows you around everywhere, get in this, uh, ring and I'll gladly, uh, a blunge. Uh, I mean, oh, blades, oh, bludgeon, uh, whatever, I'm out here, Yuri, and... Well, I'm not talking twice! He was gonna have a fight! Yes, we are, there's Boyka! Oh, boy. Uh, shit's about yeah. to hit the fan. Business, we're about to have a fight. Business is about to pick up. Uh, all hell's about to break loose. Yeah, our uh, world title man. Oh shit! It's gonna come out, Ollie. Here comes Boyka, and here we go. Yuri Boyka going to work on Nathan. So as soon oh. as Boyka hit the ring, it will be fight on. Exactly. And, and now, what? This is not looking good for Nathan. What the hell is Boyka doing? What is this? Uh oh. Oh dear God. Oh, uh, no! God, what an exploder! Exploder suplex it. Uh oh. This is not looking good for. Nathan! Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute! Oh! Son of a bitch! God damn it, not again! You 
Goes to the technology. Sneaks it from behind and absolutely clocks Boyko with a chore. I think this was a setup. Oh, you don't think? This was definitely a setup. I mean, Boyko's by himself. And we have your fucking chore happy little rat fucking bastard though. Uh, no, now what? What the hell are these? They're gonna do damage to Biker right now. Yes, they. I. I. I don't like this. I got a bad feeling about this hit. The hell are they setting up? Wait, what is? What is Nathan doing? They haven't just took Biker. Uh oh. Oh, oh no! no. no. Oh, he's gonna figure for him around the ring post. Oh yeah, he is. Jesus Christ! He is! Oh, uh, yeah, he's got that figure four around the ring post! And oh! You spitting! No, really! He's hitting Boyka's knee with a chair! We need some help out here! Oh, dear God! And now, yeah, Nathan! Oh, and now he's got the friggin' chair! Uh, oh! Yeah. And there's that little oh, pit! <laughs> there's he that wants little to swing it! He wants to swing it! That little piss stain! Oh, this is a disgrace. <sighs> Fuck off! Oh, on un God, unfucking believable. Boy is hurt. Boyk Don't think they. His knee might be ruptured. Fucking look at them both. And they're out of here, as thick as fucking thieves. Unbelievable. A end the show and get some help for Boyka. We may be out of a holy shit of Mania 2 main event. What the fuck? 